This, Lechuk! Uh, Guybrush, come over here. Gently now. Remove my mask. Will you promise to stop picking on me? All right, all right, I promise. Anything. Just put my leg back on. Hey, you kids. You're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Let's goof on those two. Pretend they're our parents. <laughs> yeah! Sorry we ran off. You were probably worried about murderers and ne'er-do-wells. Don't worry. <laughs> I found him. <laughs> <laughs> um, come on. Let's go. Let's pretend I have powers that make lightning come out of my eyes. It's so... Lifelike. I wonder if it's real. Sorry, boys. Could you stop following us? It's creepy. Yes, yes sir. sir. Come on. I saw a scurvy dog shack back there. Scurvy dogs. I've never had one of those. No way, you have to try one. It's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. No fooling. Wow. What should we do next? We gotta get to scurvy dogs. I, I can't believe we never had one. Those glasses are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor. <laughs> I once got a scurvy dog that was bigger than my head. You kids better have money. Uh, yeah, we've got all kinds of money. Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure. If you give me a piece of eight, that's money that grown-ups use. I know what a piece of eight is. Good for you. You can have a couple of dogs if you give me one. Please? Can't you spare something for a couple of hungry kids? Listen up, you little moocher. Let me tell you something. I don't like kids. I'm an honest businessman trying to make an honest living. I don't need 50 kids a day coming in and wasting my time trying to get me to give them free food. I guess never mind. Hey, I know. Let's look for change in the outhouse across the way. Coins fall out of people's pockets when they sit down in there. Now what? Never mind. They put it on a leg to keep you from walking off with it. <laughs> I'll bring this right back, sir. You'd be wise to do that. I got the leg from the last kid who didn't bring back the key. It's locked. Good thing I've got the key in my pocket. It's locked. Good thing I've got the key in my pocket. Unlocked it. Chucky, why don't you look in the toilet? No way. You do it. Okay. Ugh. Gross. 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 It isn't a piece of eight, but it's a round piece of metal about the same size and shape as a piece of eight. That's called a slug. It's like a fake coin. A fake coin? It's almost as good as a real coin. 
I don't see any coins, and I'm not putting my hands in that. Some places you go have... Ugh, what is this stuff? It smells the same as the toilet. Please wash hands before leaving outhouse. I'm not sure how we can get scurvy dogs without any pieces of eight. We might have all we need. I don't think that guy can see very well. Now what? Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure. If you give me a piece of eight. What can we get with this? Tastes like a piece of eight. Enough for a couple of scurvy dogs if you want. Perfect! Take them, boy. What are you getting? What? Just kidding. Here's yours. I'm having these for breakfast, lunch, and dinner forever. What do you want to do now? I don't know. What do you want to do? I wonder where those two people we were following went. Pirate! Um... Hello? Boo! Ha! <laughs> He's dead to the world! Ah. Sounds real! Hey, Chucky! Get ready to run! I guess they don't like visitors. That's my friend D. Hey D. Hey Chucky, what are you jerk faces up to? We just got here. I'm making a list of stuff to do. Give me that. I'm an expert planner. There. Perfect. See you around the park, Sid Heads. Chucky, wanna race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go! Chucky wins! Woohoo! Yeah! Next time for sure. You up for another race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go! Chucky wins! Woohoo! Yeah! Next time for sure! You up for another race? You're on! I'll officiate! Three, two, one, go! I win! <laughs> I once had the hiccups for four days straight. I wonder where this path goes. I bet I've known Chucky longer than you have. No chance. We go way back. I bet I've known Chucky longer than you have. No chance. We go way back. I wonder where this path goes. I wonder where this path goes. Did you know you can keep a scurvy dog warm by sticking it in your armpit? Let's be frank, you can never hope to beat me. No way, you'll never catch up to my level. 
I win! I win! Uh -uh. <laughs> you guys are both pretty weak. Well, anyway, that was fun. What's this red glob on the ground? That's ketchup. It's supposed to be really good with scurvy dogs. You should put that on your scurvy dog. They call a skirt. I can stand on my head without using my hands. That's a cool anchor. <sighs> that just shows how little you know about anchors. This one's not a very good example. You'd know that if you read as much about anchors as I have. Did you know that anchors originally weren't designed to hold ships in place? They were used in combat, shot from cannons as a grapple when you were trying to board another ship. They started making them bigger and bigger because they would do more damage that way. Then people noticed what happened when you missed the other ship and hit the sea bottom instead. The current bow-shaped design is actually less effective than the sharper V-shaped design that was popular last century. But the older design went out of fashion after sailors started to think the letter V was bad luck. You can still find the old kind around sometimes, but collectors have grabbed most of them. On a modern anchor, if you look close, you can tell that one side is a little larger than the other. That's to prevent what's called plummeting, where the anchor goes down too evenly and then it doesn't catch well on the bottom. The little flanges at the tips are at different angles to make it twist on the way down for the same reason. Most anchors these days are made of iron, and you have to recast them like twice a year because they rust. About 30 years ago, somebody thought of a way to get around that by making them out of wood instead. All kinds of people invested a lot of money in these wooden anchor companies, but the only way they could keep them from floating was to attach another anchor. And so they gave up and went back to the old way. The word anchor comes from the Sanskrit word nagara, meaning city. They're called that because when you stop in the middle of the ocean, it's like you've made port at an invisible city. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of an expert on anchors. I read a lot. <sighs> I wonder what's in that basket. Let's find out. What do you think you're doing? Kids these days. You have no regard for person. Gotta run! How rude. Give it some of your bread. Clovers. <laughs> As if! I want to see two scurvy dogs. Let's look for a four leaf clover! Okay. Good luck with that. I found one! Awesome! There was still one left? Darn! Thank you. 
I should throw my coin in and make a wish. I should throw my coin in and make a wish. a cool plant. A plant? What a waste of a wish. Ah! <laughs> I take it back. That was the best. Kids jumping rope down there? <sighs> They're doing it wrong. Hey, Dad. Hello, Mr. Threepwood. Hey, kids. Having fun? Yeah. We got scurvy dogs. Those have toenails and stuff in them. Ugh, I read about it. And we were playing your adventures. We just did Big Whoop. Big Whoop. Oh boy, that takes me back. I like it when Chucky asks me to put his leg back on. He says it really funny. You guys always make up the craziest stuff for the ending of that story. It's fun! But you can't just change it around. That's not how storytelling works. A lot of your stories don't feel like they're finished at the end. What do you mean? Well, like, there's this one that you call The Secret of Monkey Island, where you went to Monkey Island and fought LeChuck. Oh, that story has a great ending. There's punching and fireworks. I thought you liked that one. But you never did find the secret. Not the real one. Sure, but that's not what that story was about. Kids, let me tell you a story that is about finding the secret of Monkey Island. Is this a long story? I think maybe I gotta go use the bathroom or something. Yeah, I have to go uh, walk my tarantula. Maybe I should go with them. No, no, stick around. This is a good one. See, there was a rumor going around that my old nemesis, LeChuck, had somehow discovered the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. I knew I had to get it before he did, so I went to Melee to get my own expedition started and beat him to the punch.
feels good to be back on the hub of pirate where every good expedition I'll see some old pat Hi I'm Guybrush Three Point Haven't seen you Well you know but now I'm Oh what? Is there I don't... and if you know my history with the Chuck I sailed to Monkey Island. Oh that's not He's an even a fairy a depraved and I'm not They say I... We've been enemies from everywhere I funny that guy Are you sure it is? I don't know how he... F I'm mounting... Well... Well... I'm just as soon as I can get... I'm a little... In that case... Exactly... The grateful knockback of grub... Scumbag... Long table... I know where I'm... We'll see...